Okay, well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Jeremy Medeiros and JP Ruja coming to you from uh, Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, on April Fool's Day, the 1st of April, 2022. As you can see, the windy conditions continue. It, the wind is picking up uh, literally by the hour right now, so we're squeezing in a quick check of the um, cahal nests here at Nonsuch Island. Uh, and we're going to be uh, doing both of the Cahal Cam chicks today. They've grown considerably since our last um, check and our last uh, video. It's been a, probably a couple of weeks since our last one. And uh, particularly the Cahal Cam 1 chick has grown to the point where he's as big, if not bigger, than his parents already. Um, we also have a sort of <laughs> you know, unique situation in that uh, we had fitted GPS bands, uh, GPS tags, sorry, on both of the parents of the Cahal Cam 1 chick and to the male of the um, Cahal Cam 2 chick um, because it's really interesting to see where they're going to find food uh, for the chicks and how far they're traveling and how fast. We've retrieved so far both of the GPS tags from the male birds in both nests and the female bird has decided to stay in for the day uh, with the chick in the Cahal Cam 1 nest. Now she's a bird that only comes in about every 10 days. She takes much longer uh, trips to gather food to feed the chick. The male visits like every two or three nights, uh, so he's doing obviously shorter trips. And hopefully we'll be able to show you that at some point with the maps once the, the data has been processed um, by our research partners. Um, but um, because this female bird is an expert at avoiding capture um, at the first sound she will just duck into the um, entrance tunnel and it's very hard to extract her from there so I'm going to just try and sneak up quietly on her lift the nest lid off grab her quickly put her in a bag and put her aside for processing and removal of the GPS tag and then I'll weigh the chick in that nest so let's go and do it fantastic <laughs> she didn't quite have time to escape and uh, we've known it's her since last night because she had two small um, white markings um, painted on her forehead by the researchers when they deployed the tag and um, so the the male has won so I'm going to take a look at the tail yep and here we go you see all that's visible of the tail is this tiny little whip antenna and under the feathers of the tail, there is the tag itself. So um, check out our other video. We'll be um, removing this tag and setting it aside and then sending it uh, to our uh, partners in Portugal for, uh, to extract the data and to process and to make the maps out of that. So I'm going to put her aside, draw the string on that and now i'm going to take out junior and see and the chick is indeed just about as big as she is boy he has grown or she has grown we don't know the sex yet and won't and it's it's also obscenely fat it's in the water what i call the water balloon stage where its stomach is so full and distended it feels like a fur covered water balloon and you can see the wings too are really growing in uh, length and we'll we'll measure all of that and everything well, i'm just going to try and restrain her gently yeah and he he really is growing here's one happy little chick because uh two or three nights ago he was visited by both parents at the same time so there was a bit of a family reunion in the nest burrow with the male uh, the adult male female and the chick all together in the nest so um and then she has fed him again just last night and the early hours of this morning so i'll be very interested to see how much he has increased in weight and his uh wing cord measurements and such and, and bill measurement i suspect he's going to be 
close to as heavy as the females. He's probably well, he feels like he could be approaching or over 300 grams already, and he is. Wow, this is the heaviest chick I've measured so far in the entire population this season. <laughs> Unbelievable. The last time I checked him, he was 205 grams, and that wasn't that long ago. He is now, let's see, 350, 300 and, good God, that can't be right. 361 grams, so minus the weight of the bag, that's 351 grams. So he has literally gained 145 grams um, since my last check about uh, four or five days ago. That is unbelievable. So 351 grams. And if he's being fed that well, or she's being fed that well, then undoubtedly the, um, the wing measurements and everything else is growing at a phenomenal rate too. So I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly. It's very windy out here. And the female is not happy that she's been removed from her trick, which I don't blame her. And it's 57 millimeters. I believe it was 41 last time. 57. And that's very typical. Um, wing cord can grow as much as 5 millimeters a day um, when they're being fed well. You know, when the, when the chicks are in fact being fed well. So the last thing I'm going to do, because when it's windy like this, I really don't like to keep them out for too long. And of course, one thing I don't want to trigger is regurgitation, because when they're this full, it's a, okay, just a remote chance you could do that. Yeah, I, I, it's, you know, this bird has a fairly short bill for its size. It's only 20... 2.5 millimeters and that sort of it's still too early to tell for sure but I'm really tending towards this is probably a female chick at this point which will be something to think about in the future the bill is really quite small much smaller than uh, birds chicks which are which are considerably younger than it you know elsewhere in the colony okay so uh, our happy growing very fat and rotund chick is doing exceptionally well. I mean, as far as I know, this is the heaviest chick in the entire population of cahals on the planet at this point. You know, I've been trying to check them fairly regularly as weather permits, and uh, there is, uh, there's only one bird that's been close to 300 grams, not less 350 plus. So uh, yeah, this, we've got a real winner here t this year, and uh, we'll continue to monitor it. Okay. Yeah, so everything looks good, and uh, we will go and um, check out the Kahal Cam 2 chick next. But uh, firstly, I'm going to take a look at the adult and process her so I can put her back in the nest with the chicks. Okay, so uh, mission accomplished uh, at the Kahal Cam 1 nest. We've looked at the ridiculously uh, heavy and fat contented chick. We've looked at the female and we've retrieved the GPS tag. So we now have GPS data for both the male adult and the female adult. And that's gonna be very interesting and stay tuned. Uh, we are going to uh, present that information when we get it from our research partners. So now the last um, item on the list for uh, now is to check the uh, chick in the Kahal Cam 2 nest which is much smaller, it's much younger. It's, I think, uh, you know, almost two weeks younger than, than the chick in the Kahal Cam 1 nest. Uh, but he's been getting fed regularly by both parents, so we'll see how um, it's doing. Okay. Well, this little guy has grown quite a bit too from the last time I saw him. Um, it's, remember, almost two weeks younger, and that is the difference two weeks can make in the life of a chick. Um, it's a wonderful little thing. He's quite fat. So, we're going to bring them up. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring them up. Yeah, and this is the difference two weeks can make in the growth of a cahal chick. And it's not that he's not being fed. He has. He's been fed regularly by both the male and female birds. Um, but this chick is about two weeks younger. 
and so it's about a third the size more or less and this is typical but he's a good weight and I can tell this because he feels fairly fat you know even in my hands and such but a, a much smaller chick and um, remember the Kahal Cam 1 chick was at this point uh, a couple of weeks ago as well how fast they grow okay so I'd be very interested to see what weight this one is I believe it was 139 grams in my last check so it's definitely over that now yeah oh yeah it's uh, 173 so it's 163 grams now so um, in the last four days it's increased from 139 to 163 grams so that's that is very uh, good Sixty-three. Okay, so I'm going to measure its wing cord as well. Yeah, what a difference. <laughs> it's a tiny, still a tiny little thing, but in two weeks, hopefully it'll be at the same point, you know, as Kahal Cam 1. And its wing cord is 37 millimeters. I believe it was like 30 one or 32 in the last one 37 so that it's growing well it's growing well there's no issues with this chick although it looks so much smaller it's a healthy um, normally growing chick that's right right on the market as far as um, what its growth should be now well, of course i always try and do this as quickly as possible because they really don't like it and i don't blame them now this this chick although it's a third the size its bill is almost as long as the Kahal Cam 1 chick and that's why I think the Kahal Cam 1 chick is in fact a female bird uh, the males generally have slightly longer bills and it is it's 22 this is ridiculous 22.5 it's the exact same length as the Kahal Cam 1 chick and look how much smaller it is <laughs> and it just goes to show I mean the, the bill length is is you know something several years ago that I determined was is probably it, it's not completely accurate but it's one of the more accurate ways of sexing a chick um, at a fairly young age otherwise you have to look at other things just a few days before it fledges out to sea so uh, quite possible that this is a, a um, male bird a boy bird and Kahal Cam 1 is a female bird so uh, who knows in about <laughs> three three to five years they might even get together as mates which would be kind of cool because they're neighbors you know um, and it wouldn't be the first uh, couple that were neighbors growing up together that's for sure but no it's a lovely little bird it's healthy it's in good condition it's right on right on track for what it should be at this age and um, you know we're going to continue to monitor it we're going to continue to carry out these uh, you know health and weight checks but uh, yeah, all looks good on Nun Such Island. The windy conditions that's making life miserable for myself and JP for coming out here. And th we only have had one calm day this entire week. Um, I've just been beaten black and blue by the battering I've taken in boats and such. Um, is perfect for cows. They need that wind, they love that wind, and it's being reflected in a higher than average frequency of feeding visits. So wind good for them wind not so good for us so hey i'll take the wind you know they're the ones that need a lot more help than we do at this point okay so i'm going to put this one back quickly in its nest looks good okay matey squeaky toy yep okay ah so yeah, that's, that's a very um, satisfying um, check, health check and everything. Both of these chicks appear to be doing exceptionally well. This has been the case with most of the chicks here in Nunsuch, and we have a record number of 16 of them that I'm trying to check. Um, the total number of hatched chicks now, it's somewhere between 70 and 80. Our record that we reached in 
2019 was 73 um, successfully fledged chicks. Uh, in 2020, we had 69. 2021, we had 71. And this year, um, it's still too early to tell. Some nests we won't be able to tell for a while yet, but it looks conservatively like we've got at least uh, somewhere in between 75 and 78 chicks and possibly approaching 80 chicks. Uh, it's still way too early to tell for sure, but it's looking like a, a record-breaking season all around. So um, I'm happy, <laughs> JP is happy, and the cows are happy and fat and well-fed. So uh, coming from uh, increasingly windy Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, um, everybody have a great day and we'll see you um, the next time we come out. All the best and everybody have a good one.